All right, so for this next question, for a branded network, an Instapaper, Pinboard, and other properties, what URL do we enter when trying to trigger the RSS feed? Well, if it's a branded network, you're going to use your money site RSS feed, right? The trigger point, if in a branded network, you're either using your main website, your money site, blog as the content distribution engine, or a U your branded YouTube channel as a content distribution engine. So if you're, if you're setting up recipes for your Tier 1 branded network, Tier 1 means it's being triggered from your content source, which would be your main money site. So your blog's URL, your money site blog URL, okay? By the way, Instapaper, guys, is, in my opinion, useless unless you're going to um, manually log into Instapaper and like the submitted or saved items. And I talk about this, again, about a dozen times in the new training um, because... Instapaper used to have an RSS feed output. They do no longer have that. The new Instapaper accounts don't have an RSS feed output. All they have is a... But now they have a public profile page, which they didn't before. But in order for your saved items to be listed on your public profile page, you have to log in to Instapaper and manually like, press a button, it's a little heart icon, and that makes it uh, appear on your... Um, public profile page. So for that reason, I recommend just skipping it all together unless you're only managing like one network for your own business or something, in, in which case just log in once a week or once every two weeks, put it on a Google Calendar recurring event so that it reminds you to log in and just go right on down the line and click the little heart icon next to each item. Otherwise, skip it because it doesn't give you an RSS feed output anymore. In my opinion, it's worthless. I'm certainly not going to log in to Instapaper and click a bunch of heart icons uh, so I'm just going to omit them from my networks. However, it is in the new training because I know some of you are going to want to use it. All right. But just use your money site RSS feed. Um, Pinboard looks great, but I have about 10 questions on what to check, yes and no, a few setup issues. Um, that's because Pinboard wasn't covered in the first training. So I'm, I'm not going to go over that right here. It's in the next training. Um, just fumble your way through it. It's just like any other property. Um, I would, you know, either just wait until the new training comes out to set up Pinboard, or just play with the options which you think are right. I can't, certainly can't go through it right here because that's part of our training. 